What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to fix one of the most annoying things that I have found on the Toyota Supra. This has nothing to do with performance or anything like that. It is just a very, very annoying thing. The annoying thing that I have found in the last year and a half of owning this car is the door panels rattle and squeak so much. I think it's done that worse and worse over the last year that I've owned the car, but the way they're made, it is just a cheap plastic door panel to be quite honest. There's nothing really high tech about it or anything like that. And the plastic vibrates against the metal door frame and squeaks and rattles over all the bumps on the roads. And especially this part right here, which is right by my ear when I'm driving the car. I know it's a little thing, but when you're driving a car, especially when that costs this much, every time you hit a bump or you're not on a perfect road, the whole car just sounds like it's rattling and squeaking around you. I'll play a few clips of what it sounds like. So hopefully that picked out well enough on camera to where you can get the idea of what I'm talking about. It is just so annoying no matter what I do in this car and what I find myself doing whenever I'm driving it, I always have to put my knee against this panel, just kind of give it some pressure or take my elbow when it's on the armrest and press it against the panel and that makes the rattling go away. So in today's video, we're basically gonna show you how do you fix interior rattling in your car. Obviously it doesn't have to be just a Toyota Supra, my GTR, the steering column actually rattles just a little bit. So I think I can fix that now with this technique. So what I've ordered, this was from Amazon. It was like 10 or 15 bucks. It is basically a piece of foam with adhesive on the other side. I think it's made for like home doors or something like that. But here's the theory. I've already done it on the passenger side and on my whole drive over here, this door panel did not make a single noise, which was super awesome to hear. So what I did, you can kind of see it right now. You can see the foam on this metal right here and then this plastic actually goes right on it, creating a really good barrier between the metal and plastic going all the way around all the way up to this part of the door panel. So obviously, as you can tell, it doesn't look out of place. It looks like a factory piece, but that foam barrier basically prevents all the rattling. So with that said, let's pop off the driver door panel and show you how to fix it in the Toyota Supra. So the first order of business, I am just using a paint can opener. If you open up the door handle on this inside here, there is a plastic trim piece. Just get the paint can opener on the back side and we're gonna pull this piece off. And then you're gonna do the same thing for this bottom panel on the armrest. Just stick it down in here. It's a little tight and you can just barely get a grip on it and just lift it up. And then using a T20, we are going to loosen all the bolts that are in here. So these two bolts are out. This one, I can't seem to get it out. Same with the other side. It feels like there's a bolt on the other side spinning with it. So I'm not 100% sure if that has to come out. But needless to say, these two are out. So now you're gonna take a 10 millimeter and there are two channels underneath this door panel right here. And there's a little key there. You're basically just gonna stick the 10 millimeter on one side and push it all the way over to the other and that will unlock them. So from here, the door panel is pretty much freed itself even though this one isn't off. So I'm just gonna grab these little places underneath it, give it a firm pull. All right, and that is actually about as far off as I need to get it because now I have good access in between this panel and the metal. So from there, you can get a better idea of what we're looking at. You can see how the plastic and metal just kind of rattle on itself, just making all that noise. And if you look in here, you can see the little plastic push pins that these are secured into this by. They actually do have a rubber grommet on them. You can even see them on camera. So there is at least some sound deadening on the inside of this, the way it's attached to the car. But this right here is the issue where we're getting the plastic on metal. So next up, we'll go in and grab this foam stuff. And this is basically going to be a nice barrier between the two. And it's black, of course, so it'll blend in nicely. So I think the best way to start this is actually down on this curve just because it's really tight up here. But you just want to give yourself a little bit of excess as you can see. And I'll slide this in where it should be down in the center. And then I can kind of walk my hands up it as I push this into the correct spot it needs to be at. And then from there I can just cut off the excess on the top. And this rubber piece right here I can actually tuck it under it so it's nice and flush. And then from there we'll just peel it up a little bit and just follow where the plastic is going to reach and touch the metal, just like you're putting on a sticker. All right, we'll 
go ahead and cut off any excess just because we won't need the rest. And then this last piece, just keep walking it up all the way to the top. So that's how you apply the actual rubber sealant or the foam sealing, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, there's a good gasket right around here going the whole way of the door frame. And then now all you have to do is pop everything back into place. And with everything back into place, just find that same plastic one. You have to push it a little bit harder this time because of that foam gasket that's there. But give it a nice firm push and we can lock it back into place with that screw. And then of course, last but not least, we'll just take all these plastic pieces and pop them back in. For those of you who have not been able to get this bolt out, let me know. Uh, I don't know why both of mine were clearly stripped and they did not work, but nonetheless, you can still do this project. And then of course, we'll get these two screws in the bottom all back into place. And then we can take this plastic piece back in here and we are done. All right, so, so far, the first thing I do notice now that I've done this, that door panel actually sounds way more solid when I close it. For those of you who are super owners, you know it kind of sounds a little cheap when we slam the doors because it's just a lot of plastic as you are finding in this car and a lot of other modern cars. But now there's that pressure holding this nice and tight. Already, I am really excited because I've only driven the car with the passenger side done. Let's hit some roads and see if this car still rattles. So it's been a few miles already and so far I'm not really hearing anything on the door panels. We have some bumps we're hitting on the bridge. And it is nice and solid sounding. That is like unreal. I think once you drive a car that just makes rattles and noises, when it's then quiet and normal, it feels a million times better. The car, I know it's a little thing to be nitpicky about, but seriously, when you buy a car that's you know a nice premium sports car, especially one that costs you almost $60,000, you shouldn't have door panels that rattle every time it hits a bump. It should be a more solid car. I've pretty much never been in a car of this price category that had door panels that rattled like that. Every car I've been in that is you know BMW or Mercedes like this, even just a Toyota Camry, I don't hear that. These panels are just really garbage, I think. I think Toyota kind of messed up putting these panels and I think they could have done it in a little bit higher quality. But as you can hear, there isn't a single sound anywhere. So that is a really good plus. And of course this thing costs pretty much nothing to do. It takes about five minutes and I'm sure you can translate what you just saw in today's video on other interior parts of your car, whether it's like the plastic behind you, somewhere down there, anywhere in the center console or something like that. That is a good way that you can solve the issue because of course when you have any type of plastic rattling against another material, you're gonna hear the rattles and a lot of modern cars, the entire interior is just plastic. They are really cheapening new cars today. Kind of is what it is that is just the way they're going to save money of course but at least it's not too hard as you saw in the video to fix that problem by putting some sort of foam i was looking at felt tape as well to solve the issue and i think the foam does a good job it really absorbs all the rattling that you're going to hear and uh we'll finish up really quickly on a really bad bumpy road just to 100 percent prove that it works because i am really excited to see if it does if not then oh well i have a rattly car forever so now on a bumpy road again very bumpy, bad road, hopefully you can tell. But we are barely hearing anything. I don't hear anything at the moment. Same thing over here. So I think we have solved the issue with the rattly door panels in the Toyota Supra. That bugged me since day one. I felt that they were really cheap. It didn't rattle too much, but the more and more over time, they've gotten worse. And every time I go on a bumpy road, I have to sit there with my arm really pressed tightly against it, with my leg against it, because it's so annoying. And it just drives me crazy hearing buzzes in my ears. I just can't handle that type of sound. It is really annoying. But anyway, we have solved it. The Supra is now sounding like a nice quality performance car, which is always a good thing. We'll finish it up as a Mustang gets out of the way. Let the fast car do what it needs to do. <laughs> and now, I can have fun in the Supra and only hear the noises you want to hear. Like that. And it sounds like machine guns going off. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you guys in the next video.